Hi guys, just a quick apology for the video quality. My autofocus system seems to be having a bit of a uh, crisis during this video. I think what it's trying to do is just follow my hands. Um, so I just need to have a look at that next time and um, see what's what there. I've got a uh, lens here today, which is the Canon MPE 65 millimeter macro lens. It is a one to five times magnification. So just a quick macro description. Macro is basically close-up photography. If you have a proper macro lens, they generally go to one to one, which means whatever you're looking at through the through the camera, it is the same size on the sensor at one to one. So it's a one to one ratio. So basically, it's 100%, you know, exact copy onto the onto the sensor or the film. This little puppy here will do up to five times bigger. So it's magnifying that one to one up to five times larger without any distortion or anything, um, and it's bonkers, bonkers lens. Um, absolutely brilliant, it's a thousand pounds or just under, I think uh, Wex have it at 979 at the moment, and that's August 2017. Um, comes with everything in the box, um, the instructions and everything. Um, this one here, I have, I am a Sony user, so um, I've actually got a adapter on here, which is a Comlight um, Canon to E-mount Sony E-mount adapter. Uh, goes straight on my Sony A7R2 and A6300. Um, at the moment, the, the lens here is set at one-to-one -one ratio, so that is its smallest magnification. I've kept my original Sigma 105 uh, macro lens because I can do less magnification with that, so I don't have to go up to one-to-one. -to -one. I can go back. Um, this is restricted to one up to five, so it, it is a bit of a specialist lens. It's amazing. It's extremely sharp, but as you go up the range, so at the moment that was so that was one to one there, and as I wind it open, that is now two, three, four, and five times magnification. You need to have ideally a slider or a, a rig that basically can make the lens move forwards and backwards with it or whilst attached to the camera. Um, there's no way you can really handheld this above two times, uh, two to one macro. Um, I have done, but whilst leaning against stuff. The only disadvantage is when you're at up to sort of three, four, five times magnification is you need to then start stacking images. So up to 30 or 40 images sometimes, um, because what you do is you, you have it on a, uh, a slider so you take a picture wind it forwards a little bit take a picture wind it forwards a little bit take a picture what that's doing is actually focusing on slightly different areas through the through the through the image you want um, at five to one macro it's depth of field so it's how shallow are the images I think is 0 0.26 of a millimeter so around about a quarter of a millimeter of depth so, so just to get one millimeters worth of depth of an image is four photos maybe five just to make sure um, so you just imagine you know um, so you can end up some very very interesting images but also if you don't do it right you end up with some rubbish um, it's an amazing lens I love it absolutely love it um, I've done everything from ants to really close bits of money um, I will add some will add some uh, photos to the video it's just a it's built like a tank I mean it is Typical Canon quality. It is literally metal everywhere. Um, that's the adapter on there. So I'll take, that's, that's how big it is. Minus the adapter. So if you're using a Canon, Canon uh, DSLR, that's what it looks like. Obviously, uh, without the adapter, I use it with the adapter. So there you go. So that's how big it is. And then my Sony A7R2, whatever sits sits on the back. It has its own tripod mount, which is adjustable, so you can unwind it and then rotate. So if you're doing a portrait version or or whatever. Um, works really well. It says it's an f2.8 lens. It is an f2.8 lens, but what you've got to remember is at one to one you can have it f2.8, which is obviously letting plenty of light in. Um, but as you extend the magnification, that isn't an f2.8 lens anymore because the length of that tube, the less light, less light is coming in. Um, and also macro photography, you don't use f2.8 very very rarely especially with this lens um, you know there's no 
unless you're stood way back from something, but this doesn't have a focal doesn't have a focal ring or anything. It's literally you go that close and it's it's in focus. Um, so yeah, it's very different to a normal everyday lens, a normal macro lens or anything like that. So it is very specialist. It's a beauty to use. Um, I would say unless you've had a, a normal macro lens first before and you've got used to taking photos at macro, um, I wouldn't advise this lens. I've been taking pictures probably 20 odd years now, 25, almost 28 years. Um, and it was a bit of a, an eye opener for me. Uh, there's plenty of people out there you can learn from on YouTube and other online uh, things. You can even get a computerised rig that you put your camera on, you set it to the, the, the movements you want. So basically it'll move, take a picture, move, take a picture, move, take a picture, move, take a picture, um, automatically and accurately. So you end up with these amazing st uh, stackings. Um, so as you take up to say 40 images, you then have to put them through Photoshop or another stacking software program, which will then overlay every single photo and then build it up so you end up with what you want to see. Um, it does work extremely well. Photoshop is a little bit limited, um, but it does work. I've used it a few times, but I did download a couple of trials on different different uh, programs to uh, to see what was available. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just really wanted to give you a quick insight to what this lens is like. It's pretty heavy, um, obviously, but it's going to go on the tripod anyway. Um, like I say, it's £979, I think I paid £9.50 for it um, a little while. It seems the price has jumped up very slightly. Uh, recommended retail price, I think, is 1080 or something like that anyway. Um, but don't have any filters on it. Um, it's not a lens I usually use outside. It's generally in here in a studio situation, so it's not going to get wet or mucky or dirty. Just a little bit of dust, and I'm just giving it a blow every now and again. The most important thing to do with these macro lenses is to make sure your rear element is clean at all times because that is that's the element that will show any dust or dirt and imagine even at one to one macro you can see it five times the magnification of that it shows up like you would not believe um, so a couple of times I've gone oh I'll give it a good old blow and get rid of it um, so you just have to be a little bit careful um, otherwise a lot of retouching on Photoshop to get rid of them um, other than that Get one if you if you love macro that much and you and you've got the time to learn and the time to be a little bit patient with this lens because it does take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, I had a lot of hit and miss shots when I first got it. Now I'm pretty good. Um, it's it's just a, it's a beauty to use. I mean, once you get when you get the shot, it's unbelievable. Um, it blows your mind. Some things you I mean, at five to one macro, you can look at a, a grain of salt. And you look at it, it looks like a grain of salt. When you see this at full, five times magnification on top of a 42 megapixel sensor, which means you can zoom in up to 10 times in theory, it's ridiculous. You wouldn't know a grain of salt looks like it does until you see it. Um, so, but I will add some photos to the end of this, just so you can kind of get an idea of what, what's possible. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope this has helped a few people. It's just a quick, quick insight into this lens. It's a bit, there's not much to talk about because there is no aperture control on here unless, unless it's via inside the camera um, on, on the dial, so there's no manual aperture control. Um, that is your aperture control really, control really because as you make the tube longer, it's letting less light in. So, you know, that's uh, the way it is. Um, there you go. So, anyway, there's a few on eBay, I know that quite often because I think people buy them. Um, thinking, oh wow, it's five times magnification, well, it's going to be amazing. And then they use it and they struggle. So just be a little bit of aware. If you can borrow one or try one out, and maybe have a, someone show you how it works, um, I'd recommend that before you spend a thousand pounds on a lens that may may not work for you. It is, like I say, a very specialist. So um, anyway, I'll leave it there um, and just check the pictures out at the end. And uh, please have a look at the other, other videos I've got on here. There's a few photo shoots, there's a few. Um, days out where I've been to like the War and Peace show recently, and there's some big cat could be that uh, I speak big cat sanctuary um, photos where I've been as well, and even when I've been using my pivot head glasses, um, ended up in the arena with um, some uh, birds of prey, the owls and things like that, which was which was pretty cool. So uh, anyway, so please like, subscribe, and uh, get sharing, and that'd be fabulous.
lets me do things like this a bit more often.